Hi everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I have a lot of uh, clips out so if you like this one please check the other ones out and I have a lot more coming in the future weeks. I'm gonna post every week. Um, this one is gonna be about the Thor's hammer. About a year ago we had a real thunderstorm. After that I bought this hammer it's a replica of a hammer uh, found in southern Sweden, in Skåne. So that's a real model of a hammer from Viking ages. So I started painting to do a Thor's hammer hawk that you actually couldn't throw. So that was my first idea. Um, but I, I'm a thinker, not a doer. So I talked to Ivan Fuchs, a real good friend of mine. He helped me out with a lot of stuff. So he put everything into the computer. Uh, we started talking about hammer runes on it. So we talked to Jonas Rundberg, a friend of mine here in Sweden. He's a real rune carver. So he helped us with the design of the snake and with the runes. So after a while, this is what we came up with. This is a real Thor's hammer. And you can throw this and stick it into anything. This is just awesome. And when you read the runes, you start from this end and go down. And it says in Sweden, um, Thor, the hammer of Thor that flies through the air. In Swedish it's Tors hammare som flyger genom luften. So since the runes were made for Nordic languages, we wrote it in Swedish. Uh, but it's really nice. It's beautiful. And uh, Ivan also sent me one of these. Uh, exactly the same, but you can choose to have a handle on it. And... Uh, the snake got a little off-centered, so this one is to take a beat in. I'm going to throw this a lot. Uh, this one, I'm going to put a leather wrapping on it. I'm going to make this one beautiful. I'll show you just in a bit. But let's go back to Viking Ages and see how this one works out. Check these clips out. Welcome to the Viking Ages, or something like that. This is actually how Vikings were dressed. And if they had money, they had a symbol for the god and a weapon. Maybe not like this. Steel back then, bent. So this would actually be a weapon for a god. So let's see how it flies. In these times, steel were everything to protect yourself, to protect your own, but also to protect your honor, right? It's really amazing. I'm not gonna throw this that far back. I'm gonna throw the other one. This one with the leather wrapping, I'm gonna have on me at Viking Market. I'm gonna show it off. It's beautiful. So this is gonna be my precious. But check all these clips out. Power of Thor. I really like it. 
So let's try some further distances. See how it works. But as you see, it's straight through there. Yeah, that's nice. So, 12 meters. What better weather to throw in the last summer rain of the season and with a Thor's hammer. Can't be better than that. So, I think this could be used as a weapon, right? That can hit back. It works well, both full spin and half spin. That was one and a half. So let's see if I have the power of Thor to cooperate with Mjöller. If it can keep me safe, help me to win my battles, listen to my moves, and keep my back safe. It really works well. I need to try this. So, it would really work well on the battleground as well. It's a fantastic both hawk weapon and a thrower to wrap things up for this time i'm standing here in the final summer rain uh, for the season i think in sweden uh, I grew up among rune stones and bold graves. We don't have them far from the house here. So to get this from a dream and with the help of Ivan making it and Jonas helping me with the runes and snake and everything feels amazing. It's really fun throwing. Um, I think it would stand out pretty well during Viking times. Uh, it's awesome. 
stay tuned uh, i will have a lot of more videos coming up so take care all